Welcome to the map Anorian in BFMU on the page 2.22 for a replay commentary in a great matchup. At the bottom right side, we have the green Gondor player Rorana Zoro. His ally top right is the yellow Isengard player Trollololo. Their opponents, the blue Isengard player Poseidon. And his ally at the bottom left is the green Mordor player Mifrandir. Okay, so Mordor, Isen, the force of evil, whereas the combination of evil and good. I like this combination a lot. I don't like the opening though. I always like to start with a blacksmith to make sure that it hits rank 2 when I need it to hit. Otherwise, you will be delayed with your upgrades a little bit. But this one also gives you the chance to go for the stable a bit sooner. However, the amount of time you save for the stable is not equivalent you know it's not like the same of having the blacksmith to hit rank 2 first for faster upgrades but the soldiers were able to sneak through from the bottom side of the map now they're going to be fighting against the orc warriors but they should realistically commit on the lumber mill to take it down here the teamwork would be essential so if the gunner player would team up with the isengard player for the war chant it would have been a better choice but the isengard player went forward on his on a solar mission the heal will be used I also out on to deal more damage to the soldiers, but it looks like the soldiers will get the job done and take down the enemy Lambert Mill. That's pretty good. I like it. However, remember, when you group up here in this situation with your um, Isengard ally and he use Warchant on the Uruks and on the Orc soldiers, the amount of damage you can deal is going to be far greater. Double Orc Pit technology. So the money from Mordor is not going to look that great. And three farms into the stable. I think he was cash floating a little bit. But the Knights of Gondor will be there very, very soon. Three Furnace into the Uruk Pit for this player. And two Furnace into the Uruk Pit for this player. He is going to pump out more and more Uruks. That's what you need. You don't need Lourdes in this matchup when your ally is Mordor. He will give you enough leadership. Warchant will be used to fight a fight between Uruks and Uruks. Mordor rushing forward. Should be creeping this one. And, you know, double Orc Pit kind of hitting crazy hard. You will pump out orcs every 30 seconds. Remember, they cost nothing. But you can create so much pressure and generate so much momentum for yourself and for your teammate. The creep is going to be taken by the Mordor Orc Warriors without any problems. Easy creeping for Mordor. The knights will be there shortly, in about 10 seconds from now. But you will need a lot of knights to deal with the orc spam. So what you want to do in this situation with Gondor, when your ally is Isengard, to protect his settlements, you need to recruit one additional Knight of Gondor. And the additional Knight of Gondor you recruit has only one mission. You know, stay around this location and trample orcs only. That's all you need to do. So good looking beast of Mordor. He's towering up. I like that. You know, I would like to build three towers. One of them here at this spot. Here. And also one of them here behind just in case he might go this way and then your backside is going to be unprotected if you have no tower here towers are not very expensive so don't be greedy don't save the money build them early game you know don't you, you want to build towers before you need them when you build them when you need them it's going to be a little bit too late the uruks will hopefully be able to deal with the work the first knight of condor has to always move forward to destroy this enemy settlements it's very important good looking base for aizen Furnace rank 2 is going to be quite helpful. And also this Aizen is going to go for more and more Uruks. Um, it's a little bit different, the situation from this Aizen compared to this Aizen. This Aizen will have lack of leadership. So you going for Lords could be quite helpful to compensate the lack of DPS you will have. Because your ally is not Mordor, it's only Gondor. So you getting Lords rank 5 is going to make it uh, way easier for you to later on deal with trolls from the enemy Mordor player. I have Sauron and beautiful commitment. Land has been used from Mordor. Rank 2 orcs. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. But bunch of damage. Full beast from Mordor. But it looks like he doesn't want to go for the troll cage. That's a major mistake. So if look, that's what I was trying to talk about. He just built up the blacksmith for the first time. And now this needs a lot of time before it hits rank 2. Passively. You cannot speed this up. So before it hits rank 2 though, you cannot buy any of these upgrades, you know? Warjan is going to be used on the allies Knights of Condor. Great move. When you get stuck like this, you want to press S and then move. When you trample into too many orcs, you will get slowed down. Tower is dealing good amount of damage. And uh, he has three towers in total. 
Aizen. He's not a full beast yet. He's kind of poor, but he will pump out some of the pikemen of Aizen to counter the enemy Knights of Gondor. Pippin is in the middle to block the settlement, and the knight was barely able to get away. Full base for this Aizen, he's uh, in a much more healthy spot. Uh, usually when you play the 2v2 and you are Gondor Aizen versus Mordor Aizen, the Aizengar player whose ally is Gondor is going to be wealthier compared to the Aizengar player whose ally is Mordor. So with the speed you can get your upgrades done a bit faster and go for a potential first push. So you can skip lords, go for the armory. Get fire arrows, banner, and heavy armor, and then you will be ready much faster than this opponent, which will make the first one or two pushes much more harder to defend for the enemy side. And Gondor can later on by the middle camp build statue and well. That's the beautiful part about combining good and evil factions in a team game, because the evil lack sustain and the good ones can give you that. So your weakness is gonna be gone. And these knights can't have any upgrades anytime soon, boys. That's kind of crazy. Mordor is going to place the second land right in front of the castle of Gondor. He has still two empty spots before he went for the third knight. He should fill up the beast. He's cash looting a little bit. <clears throat> and um, no, another two minutes needed for the, for the blacksmith to be trying too. Lords got level two from this troll. And if he gets the last on the creep, he will get rank three. Eisen went for three lumber mills. That's what she need. He has also two empty spots in his base. This Mordor should have a lot of money. Yeah, he has indeed 5,000 already, bro. Industry is cooking. Might go for an Asgul that will eliminate what Gondor has to offer. He's gonna go for an Asgul indeed. Or when you see yourself in a spot, okay, I can stall a bit longer and go for the Witch King instead. It would have been a better choice. But Nazgul is gonna give you the freedom, you know? And your settlements outside are gonna be safe for a very long duration. This Gondor... He's, he's kind of poor though. Gondor is not very rich. He went for the Great Company. The downside of spamming too many orcs is you will feed a lot of experience points and also power points to your opponent. But the Nazgul is gonna crush everything. Crush everything. Boromir has been recruited. He was able to take the troll at the bottom side. He's rank 4 now. That's also important leadership for the allied combos. Lourdes, I believe, is rank 3. And the Nazgul is with us. Rank 3 Lords, but the Nazgul is gonna just farm. Oof, what a fine hit. Uh, well, you need Faramir. You need Faramir. The combination of Lords and Faramir can be deadly against an Nazgul. Nazgul is super vulnerable against Warning Arrow. The Screech can be used. And the Great Company gonna run wild. The Vorgs are coming for a trample, but they have no upgrades. Lords, uh, bottom leadership will make this. Great company, deal much, much, much higher damage. So now you don't need to go for upgrades anymore. Now you want to go for Faramir immediately. You know, you have the money for this. When you see Nazgul, you always going to go for the Faramir. He went for his shields. Will destroy one of the towers. There comes the Vorchan on the Vorks. But without the Forge Bleeds, your damage is going to be quite limited, as you can see in this example. Orcs everywhere, pressure non-stop. Mordor will have the chance to save up for the Witch King. And um, I don't know about that one, actually. I think you need Drummer Troll as soon as possible. But this Isengard needs still a lot of time to be ready. He went for the for the industry. will be using it. Nazgul is committing. He was recovering up a little bit. Um, and again, in this situation, Lourdes and also Faramir could have been a great counter to this uh, Nazgul. Lords on the rank 3, he's gonna use the cripple on the Nazgul. You see, that's what I'm talking about. In this here, imagine a warning arrow on the Nazgul, he would have been dead. This Lords could cripple this Lords, but he didn't. The knight, rank 3 knight, that's gonna be super unfortunate, but it's gonna go down. He's gonna pick him up in his clothes and drop him down dead. Orcs everywhere, rank 3 farm is going to be taken down, Gondor is starving to death, Farami coming a little bit to lead, but he's there. Isengard going for the upgrades, all the upgrades will be purchased besides the Forge Bleeds, you don't need it. You need only these three upgrades against Mordor, your Forge Bleeds won't deal any damage, you will not have any melee units, you will have most of the time the combos or the range units exclusively, like the Crossbowman. But the punishment is going to be big. That's why you need, you, you see when, oh my goodness, what a trample. 
That's why you need combos. You need to combine them with the Uruk so they have a bit strong front line. They don't get one-shotted like this, you know? There is still a chance for Gondor Eisen team to win this. If Lords get rank, gets rank 5 with the Warchant, Lords leadership and also Boromir leadership, the combos will deal in total 170% more damage. Nazgul and Witch King will die in a second. And you need to stop pumping out more knights, bro. Knights without heavy armor will die in a second to this Nazgul. But too well, they can recover. And that's gonna be a fine hit. Boom, son. Yeah, without heavy armor. And um, when you fight against the Nazgul with your... He lost the whole battalion. No, he didn't lose. You want to put on the wedge formation, you know? Otherwise, the Nazgul will deal much, much higher damage to you. The Screech. Where is the Farami at? Farami is coming. Can you get dismounted and do it? Show your quality, Farami. Farami, can you... Nah, he can't. Denito was right about him, bro. Aizen has three armory mills, so keep that in mind. He's gonna get a lot of money. He's just building the armory, but we, if the Gondor Aizen team will give Aizen a lot of time, he will be ready. He has still the warp pit under his control. We'll have to make some combos. Uh, Witch King is cooking, and now we need to see the transition into the troll cage from the Mordor player. But Aizen is about to be ready. When you play against Mordor as Aizen, you need the Palantir for the resistances to fear. Otherwise, the Nazgul is gonna mess your army up. Uh, remember, the resistance to fear will be available once your units are rank 3 or you have a leadership that's going to make them immune to fear. And uh, the way the Mordor get, uh, the Isengard can get that is either through Saruman's leadership or through the Palantir vision. Give banner to this? Yep. Where is Boromir at? Ooh, committing! The, oh, you know, that nice bait of the war chant. Now, for the push, they won't have Warchan. Yes, they killed the War Rider, but I don't think it was worth it. Um, na I'm telling you, bro. Nazgul and the Witch King can mess up this army so much. Lord still missing one and a half levels. And I don't know where Borom Boromir has been killed. Don't ask me how, don't ask me why. And Mordor is drawing so much attention between his Nazgul and Witch King, creating so much pressure. And buying so much time and going for the Mumu Kill Pan. This Mordor doesn't seem to like the trolls. Mumu Kill Pan is gonna be his choice. And Rorono Zoro, that's gonna be the green gonna play him. Pinging the middle, he's like, okay, I'm gonna buy the middle for you. So bring your army. And this army is kinda messed up a little bit. Like a lot of damage taken. So you need to buy them, give them banner so they can respawn, or the well is gonna be helpful. Yeah, the well is gonna be helpful. This army has lots of firepower. One, two, three, four, five, six combos in total. Maybe seven combos in total. Level three furnaces giving you lots of cash. Boromir is back on the field. Warchand almost back up. And you want to rotate now. Aizen purchased every upgrade beside the heavy armor and forge bleeds. And he's coming now. Witch King leadership, Warchand. And also this lord's almost rank five, by the way. But taking a fight here is always dangerous with the statue around it. Lourdes diving in a little bit too deep. What is the Lourdes doing? Kill him, bro. Cripple, cripple, cripple. Oh my god, they kill, didn't kill him. I was out on for more damage. The statue grants you resistance to fear. Oh, the Nazgul, 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 Nazgul is dead in a second. It's a horrible fight to take, but nobody is focusing down the Lourdes in, in front. Farami is going to show his quality. Another leadership unlocked now for the Gondor Isengard team. The Farah Boro Stichu leadership. This Lord is about to hit rank 4 too. He's going to get crippled, the Witch King, but he can't be locked in place. And that was a very bad fight to take for the Mordor Isengard team. Luckily, Mordor player was getting away without losing his Witch King. Otherwise, it would be a much more deadly situation. Yes, you can revive your heroes as Mordor for free. Your Nazgul and Witch King. But remember, that's going to cost you a lot of time, you know? And time is a luxury. And Lourdes, if this Lourdes would be rank 5, that would, you know, make the thing so much more difficult for the Mordor Isengard team. Because Mordor playing without Drummer Troll means the lack of armor and, of course, damage leadership for the Isengard combos is going to be big. He lost his Lourdes, he needs to revive him, he just demolished the armory, and that's going to cost him, again, you know, 2 minutes and 15 seconds. And all of this time, time is important. Time is basically a resource in the RTS games. So Isengard army is going to recover back to full HP. 
I would like to build second well. So I like to build well here and then also one here. So when the army is big, this has not the radius to heal them up. As you can see, it doesn't hit or re you know reach the combo behind. I think you want to go for Saruman. Let me take a look into the money for the Isengard player. He has around about 4,000 in the bank. You want to go for Saruman as soon as possible. And this Isengard going for the Siege Forks. Um, not has, has not a strong army though. He's not a strong army. It's gonna be is that gonna be a Gandalf very soon? Um here's the power points for this. But I think maybe you wanna stop making more army and go for Gandalf instead. He has the power points to turn his grey into the white. I don't know, boys. That's gonna be difficult. I'm telling you. I mean the brothers have leadership. And once Boro hits rank 7, he will also unlock the for Gondor to make them deal even greater amount of damage. And he's he went for three Mooma kills and demolished the Mooma kill pen and going for the trolls. Okay, he knows I need drama troll no matter what. He has so much money still. And you know, you don't look. <clears throat> I'm gonna tell you one thing. When you have the middle, you don't wanna be camping. You wanna go attack and then back up to middle to recover and do that on repeat. You wanna use the advantage the matchup gives to you in the best possible way, okay? So you don't need, there is no need to be here. With this army size, you can even make two squads attack the Mordor base and Eisen base simultaneously, making it very difficult for the enemy team to defend. Like, you, when you see this damage combos, these two damage combos, you want to leave them behind at the base so they can recover. Now we have Saruman upon the field for even more leadership. Faramir will try to deal damage to the Nazgul. Nazgul has to be careful. The warning arrow hits super hard. And also Gondor is going for the combos, which he should... No, don't get me wrong, but he should not do that first. Go for... Um, you need to first of all go for the for the Ganav and then go for upgrades on your knights because you need to take care of the siege weapons, potential trample into the enemy lines, and then later on you can still go for the rangers. Isengard is coming back. Um, Lourdes, one level and a tiny bit needed for the for the leadership. But here's Saruman leadership, here's Warchan, here's Boro leadership, here's Farah leadership, and when they fight around this location, here's also the leadership of the statue. So the knights are trampling. Mooma kills are coming to that's gonna be a massive fight. This might fight this fight might actually determine the outcome of the game. The Mooma kills, that's gonna be the dangerous thing. Do they have um I mean here's almost the freezing rain by the way? Mordor has darkness available in a bit. And this Isengard still needs a quarter and a power point for his own. Gondor can go for the Ooh Sun! Ooh, Farami got trampled, bro. Land will be used. Everybody is angry now. The Mooma kills are angry. Running, running, running. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, Mooma kill, boys. It's a great investment. What is Boromir doing? Boromir, be careful. Okay, the Mooma kill is going to get angry here. You need to get back to the middle camp as soon as possible. The knights should take care of this ballista, though. That's their only mission. Rank 5 lords for the enemy team. And this lords is rank 4 almost. Uh, Saruman is still alive. Here they have still the statue. Eagles available. This blue eyes at the top left has the rain, but he's not using it. That comes the Eye of Sauron for greater leadership. Eagles have been summoned to kill the Lords. Lords gonna go down to the Eagles. Fireball coming in clutch from the white wizard Saruman. And there comes the freezing rain. Finally, after the fight is almost over from the blue eyes in your play at the top left. And he, the best counter to the freezing rain is, of course, the, the, the well. And no steal, but he's gonna go for the blast instead. Blast doesn't kill them, though. They have too much stacked leadership. And the ballista, you wanna take care of the ballista first, bro. You just take it down. Heal is gonna come in clutch. Um, he lost. Uh, no, he didn't lose Boromir. Boromir was just way too far away from the thing. And Isengard has to now uh, go back with the Palantir. He's gonna move a bit faster. Mordor used darkness and also Trollololo. That's gonna be the yellow Isengard player top right has also used his freezing rain. He has still some units everywhere. And I think he was able to save his heroes, Lords. Now, nah, Lords died, but Saruman got saved. Parami will be revived. How much money does, does Condor have? 4.2k. He has gathered a lot of power points. Here, you wanna go for the push. Yes, sir. Marketplace building up for Gondor. 
he just doesn't like Gannaf, boys. Like, that's gonna be a huge investment that will slow you down. It's a great investment into the late game, but we are already in the late game, you know what I'm saying? Okay, Saruman is also for the Blue Eisen. Remember, he's playing with three Lambermills. They are not touched for a long time. Level three Lambermill behind, level two Lambermill in the front. So he's cooking money. Prokic, level two. Uh, both Nazgûls, which King has been killed in the previous fight. And Isengard is rotating. But here, the advantage is clear, clearly on the side from the Gondor Isengard team. The well countering the rain. If you ask yourself how does rain get countered by the rain, uh, by the well, it's because the rain is affecting always the current army from your enemy. But if the army respawns at the well, the respawned units from the battalion will have their leadership back. Saruman is going in. Ooh, he's gonna steal. He missed the steal somehow. I don't know how he missed the steal. I think he kind of was expecting them to retreat a bit and was placing it slightly behind them. Ooh, fireball. Do not chase. Deal with the army in your base. There comes the beautiful blast from the young wizard Saruman. And he's like, okay, I need your help, boy. Because he's attacking my castle while you are trying to defend my middle camp. And now Isengard has to rotate. Smart move from Gondor, uh, from Mordor to open a different entry to the enemy lines. By taking down the wall and going inside the jeans. Tower up, maybe. Towers could be helpful. Does he have no money? He had money to build at least two towers, summon the rangers, do something, you will take a lot of damage. Saruman is coming, but he needs to be careful. He will steal three of these, though that's great, but I think he might die right after. Heal your ally, Saruman. No, no, he's fine, he's fine, he's fine, he's fine. And it looks like they will be able to defend this. Nazgul has to be careful, taking a lot of damage. One more hit needed, warning around the other guy. And this trolls, once the control goes over will cause trouble oof what a fine hit oh my god oh my god trolls are now back to control of mordor and the it's so messy bro they have like armies everywhere but i think it's very hard for the for the Isengard player to control all, all of these armies he's chasing them too and doesn't even pay attention that the witch king is literally slaughtering his army stay in the middle Gondor has a challenge for himself. I'm gonna try to play and win without Gandalf, I guess. Gondor has to rebuild it. Saruman is back from the graveyard. That's a very strong Isengard army. Ballista are coming too. Sharku has been recruited. And Lord's gonna be back from the graveyard very soon. Still not rank 5 though. Like, if you wanna improve your gameplay, um, the first thing that I need to advise to you is to target the right stuff. You need to have a priority list, okay? When the fight breaks out, which stuff, what what do I need to kill first? And your priority list is gonna be always heroes, okay? Especially heroes that are able to change the outcome of the game like Saruman and Gandalf. But then later on, you need to kill the stuff that has the chance to either kill your army like Gimli or kill the heroes that give leadership to the, to the enemy, you know? Like Theorin, for example, or Lourdes. And then you also actively try to level up your heroes. Care about your heroes, don't lose them. Heroes have the chance to impact the, the battle so much that they, they, that they can win or lose you the fight. Oof. The Nazgûs are diving into the bees. Just build some towers, bro. That would just keep them away and don't... Eagles will be summoned though. Smart move from Mordor to target something that will make them fly faster. But that will cause them into flying into the enemy lines. Level 5 soldier, ranger combination. Oof. No, no, no. He can't. He can't. He, ca he can. Okay, he actually killed the Saruman too. That's great. One and a half power points needed for the EOD. Isengard has a huge army. Do not be afraid of this. Just go forward and fight them. Meet them. For Isengard, for your people. The trolls, Mordor, uh, you know, sporting his ally with his Witch King only and sending the trolls to enemy bees to create non-stop pressure. The Gondor player has zero defenses, you know, nothing that can shoot beside the Zita. So you wanna, you have 2.5k, you know, invest the money into some towers. 
or your ally has to give you like one or two combos to build a statue here in a well. He's gonna be finally, <clears throat> finally building up some towers. I'm losing my voice. Aizen needs to use rain, rain to make the trolls weaker, so they have no leadership. He's retreating now with some of the army, but in the meantime we have a fight in the middle of the map. Rain is not used. He's holding on it, saving it for the next game. I don't know what he's doing. Where is Saruman at? This lord gonna die. Kill him. Rain is gonna be used. Nobody's focusing. The heroes. Kill lords. He's 1 HP. I cannot believe that lords is still alive there, by the way, guys. Now, right clicking on the thing shouldn't be too difficult. I've, I know I know he's paying attention to that, but you need to switch back and forth. There comes the EUD summon from the Gondor player. He's gonna be evil to finish. But there comes the Balrog of Morgoth. The demon against the Offbreakers. Offbreakers are dealing hella damage to him, though. If they kill him, you will get so many power points. Lourdes finally got rank 5. Finally got rank 5. Balrog is flying away. Doesn't want to joke around with the... Oof, but then you fly over them, it also deals hella damage. Gondor castle is safe, but I think Gondor is kind of broke now, right? Gondor is... Nah, he has not that much money, though. Saruman has been killed. And also Sharko has been killed. And the Breathfire should be able to finish what's remaining from the Gondor camp in the middle. And the camp has been fully destroyed. Balrog has not much time anymore. He will be gone. But he did what he was paid for. And now Aizen and Gondor are finally, for the first time ever, going for a potential attack. But Rain is active. Keep that in mind. They have no leadership whatsoever, this army. Land will be covered from Aizen, uh, from Mordor. That's a whole horrible mistake. You don't want to cover the land. Which will give enemy their leadership back. Aizen will revive his Saruman. His lords and borrow me leadership though. Do not underestimate this. Oof, the Ballista is so tanky against arrows, by the way. Doesn't die. There comes the Forgondor. But Aizen is just running away. Rain is active, bro. Just fight it. You will one-shot these trolls. You see, the trolls are getting literally one-shotted. Everything is gonna get one-shotted. There is a Saruman. Kill the Saruman! Oh my goodness. No way, bro. How is he allowed to move like this and go in your army like this? Hero focus, boys. You know, one of the things you need to do first is to focus heroes. He's gonna cripple them. You draw your sword. Yeah, 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 yeah. Go, go, go. Kill him, kill him. It's good fourth trade. But use your carnage, bro. Now he's attacking the drama trolls. I cannot believe it. I cannot. He's gonna die anyway. Just finish him. You will die. The, the bottom is peeing back to Lourdes. Lourdes like, get over here. Kill him. Kill him. There is a Saruman in your army. Can you imagine this? The Saruman was in the army of Isengard. That's the first thing you need to improve at, bro. Hero focus. Farami Boromir. But they, they are still holding their grounds. Imagine if he killed him there. Uh, the Isengard player. Was the, by the way, there was the Balrog from Mordor, not from Isengard. If he, ki if he killed the lords and Saruman there, he would get so many power points. He would be by at least at 15 now. Would bring him super close to the to the Balrog special summon. Um, Isengard has captured this, by the way. And it looks like they don't care about the middle camp. This Isengard will print money with the six furnace in the in the camp in the center of the map Anorian. Almost rank 8. Rank 9 will be super massive for the, for the hero of Isengard. For the leader of Isengard it is. You need to build a well. Sometimes when your units are attacked, uh, never mind, they are respawning. Okay. The yeah, Isengard is poor now, I think. Gondor has a lot of um, power points collected. Need only, like, you can go for the Rohirrim summon. You should go for the Rohirrim summon. He's gonna go for the Rohirrim summon now. And attack the middle, destroy it. Yes, sir. Para Boro leadership also applies on the summon Rohirrim. Especially Boro leadership is so helpful in those situations. To make sure to destroy the structures are way, way faster. Nisengard is rotating. Witch King Nazgul 
and also trolls he's gathering more trolls he's he was attacking the beast of gondor on repeat there is a level one crossbow man with uh, heavy armor and fire arrows but he cannot respawn when there is no well or when they're not level two just invest 300 and make them level two eagle summon yeah hero focus beautiful yeah that's their specialty eagles are the best when it comes to kill the heroes they can catch up to every hero in the game they are flyers you know and unlike the Nazgûs or witch king they are not as tanky but they deal hella damage and they will also kill the wizard wizard must be and seven power points he can now go for the cloud break eod is almost back up it also means that baldrock is gonna be back up and the beast in the middle will be taken down the game is not over yet boys the game is not over yet okay so almost rank eight there will be unlocking the glory of condor condor will be recapturing the middle camp that's very great i like it level eight saruman i think rain is active that's why they're not glowing yeah because the poseidon used the freezing rain it's gonna be active for the next minute and you know when it's on cooldown oh there comes the eod to kill this there was a waste of eod by the way you this army was not even having upgrades on them like you can like don't use eod to kill to get now how can i say it? don't use eod to kill this stuff you can kill also without the eod you know what i'm saying this was a very favorable fight for the for the gondor isengard team but they distracted sita now they will fully commit on the isengard beast where is the mordor when we need them he went for the moment kill pen again he's like okay my moment kills before oh son the balrog and also isengard plays now the balrog he's gonna summon it another balrog another one the balrog twins focus the structures one by one boy he's going for the structural damage with his knights of gondor Pew! good at good damage dealt he's on the hunt saruman oh he's gonna dodge can't touch us whip him whip him Pew! get away <laughs> hold on a second pump out mumu kills pump out trolls but he's i think he's poor and yeah now he's not poor but he has no command points available he went for the beast again with his trolls he has plenty of trolls there comes the cloud break for the for the for the slowdown and armor reduction on the trolls the middle camp has been by the way entirely destroyed and isengard left the game i think isengard left the game yes yes isengard left the game i don't know why he left the game maybe because he got tilted he was not defeated though but now it's gonna turn into a 2v1 situation gondor will be recapturing the middle camp but in a 2v1 you just can't win both of both of your opponents have balrog unlocked and it's you know you know in the worst case scenario with the next balrog with two balrogs at the same time they will take you down gondor has a lot of power points gondor is the best faction in the lead game depending on the power points you have the best summons the strongest summons in the game and that's the first time i hear the voice of Ganalf can the wizard turn this game around and gandalf writes to isengard we must join with him gandalf we must join with sauron they will be wise my friend tell me friend okay so gandalf the white rider we have still plenty of orcs um mordor just captured the beast for himself like that's how rich mordor is he has now two castles Isengard is one castle, but Gondor is one castle in one camp. However, there are two lanes you need to deal with. Like a 2v1, you know, let's be honest, you need to be way better. And when I say way better, you need to be like 10 times the player than your opponents to do that and to win a 2v1 match. Or you need to be so much ahead that you have EOD and your opponents are far away from Balrog or something, you know? That's like legit the only way you can win a 2v1 matchup. Especially in the lead game, it's you know close to impossible because they have doubled the army size than you they have doubled the power points than you they have doubled the uh, hands than you you have two hands they have four you know they have two brains you have one they have two pcs you have one but he's fighting and i appreciate it you know if this player if this player wins i will make a 24 hour stream okay on twitch on twitch tv slash beyond standards i will make a 24 hour stream 
if Rorana Zoro is gonna find a way to win this game. Oh, Gandalf. Leave the wizard to me. Aizen is coming. Is he poor? I'm wondering why, why he has no upgrades. Actually, he's ultra poor. I don't know why, because he has triple production buildings in the beast. He has double Uruk pits and a Siege Vortex rank 3. Um, and also, the problem with the Amber Meters, the longer the game goes on, as you can see in this situation, the longer the workers have to walk to harvest some of the trees. So, you know, you need to understand that you at some point you need to... Ooh, hold on a second. He, he has the lure from his ally, though. At some point, you need to demolish your lumber mills and replace them with the slaughterhouses because slaughterhouse, unlike lumber mill, doesn't need workers, doesn't need to have, to have trees around them. Beautiful trample. What a punishment. No upgrades on this army, bro. He has only... He has no heavy armor on them, by the way. But he has the damage leadership. Um, I mean, fire arrows, at least. Fair enough. There comes the freezing rain. Palantium has been used too. Freezing rain, they have no leadership. Now the Nazgûls can commit. And they will do so. And they go on the Gandalf. Gandalf is going to be healed from the spell book. And also fighting around the well gives him a lot of sustain and um, durability. Nazgûls is going to be getting crushed. Like in the films from the Eagles. The Eagles, the Eagles are coming as Pippin would like to say. And Gondor is not defeated. Um, but he's poor. He's broke. He has EOD. But like mentioned before... There will be Balrogs. And when I say Balrogs, I mean it with the S behind the, you know, name. Not Balrog, Balrogs. And two of them are capable of destroying you, bro. I want to see what he's going to do with them. The Mokios are going to war. This one night with Kenov cannot take down the whole beast. I don't want to miss out the Balrogs, I mean. I think he's holding on his EOD because he want to use the EOD to kill one of the Balrogs. But he can only, if so, he can only do one of them. Kill one of them. And then after the EOD is gone, the any other player can just summon his own Balrog. So. The Moomer kill. Darkness has been used. The trolls are charging in. Witch King will also give them leadership. With the threes. Oof. There comes the Easter light. But as the part of the wall has been broken, there comes the Balrog into the center of the map. Gandalf is gonna get punished, 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 punished! Oh my god, 1 HP! Witch King fly and crush him! There comes the EOD defensively, like mentioned before. Balrog is inside the jeans. Whip the guy. He's gonna use breath fire on the army and kill everything. There comes the lightning sword. Oh, he didn't get the last hit with the Gandalf. If he did, he would be ranked 10, bro. But in the meantime, the trolls are still in the business. They, they, they wanna finish, but... but uh, they have started. Cripple on Gandalf, but I don't think he has what it takes to kill him. The bees of Gondor will fall. And then he will have only the camp. And there is another Balrog, which is available. Gandalf will go down. He can use the bubble, but... There is no escape. Ooh, plus, plus, plus from the scavenger. Fly. Welcome to the champion spotlight, featuring Balrog, Durin's Bane. His abilities. Phew! This was one of them. And that was the second one. Game over. Roro Nazora has been defeated. You know, GG well played. It was definitely winnable for the, for the right side team. But there was a very even game. You know, four players, not experts. But they are close in the skill level, which always turns into a fiesta game. It was, it was a great game to cast. Hopefully, it was a great game for you to watch too. If you enjoyed it, you know what to do. I will see you next time. Until then, take care of yourself. Keep hitting like a truck. And as always, stay beyond standards. Peace out, boys.